how you can add a background image onto the iPad or iPhone and uh, using Xcode 4.6. The first thing, you have to have the image. And the image size are right here. You can take a look at this uh, PDF that I have and you can download it from my website. So you just go here and I have the image right here on the desktop. That's the one we're gonna use. I just call it image. So the first thing you do is have the image. Then the second is you have to open Xcode. So we go to Xcode and we get this window right here that you see it right there. So then the next thing that we do is open Xcode. There we go. And create a new Xcode project. Click in there. And then once you click in there, it will take you to this window right here that you can see in this PDF tutorial that I'm using right here. Okay. So now I have this. Then the next, uh, it's a single view. So we're just gonna go to single view and click next. And then click next. We go to the next part and then put your name, all this. I'm sure if you've seen a lot of videos, you know how to do this already. You just put the name, I just put image. And then you have to decide if it's for iPad or iPhone. I'm gonna do it for the iPad and I'm gonna use storyboards because a lot of videos they have on iPhone and with the .xib file. So I'm gonna use these two. And if you don't know this, or you don't know what I'm talking about right here, just watch more tutorials that I have. And you know, with a few videos that you watch, you will get it. So then the next one, we just go there and click next. And then you get this window that is showing right here on the PDF and just click create. Okay, you just save it. Well, I'm just gonna save it, uh, clean desktop right there. Documents, I'm just gonna save it where I save everything, create, there. So once I, you have that, then you're gonna see this window pop up right here. There you go, you see the window, same thing. Okay, so far so good. Then you keep doing it. And the next thing we have to see is this right here. So to do that, you go to this area and you click on right here, the supporting files. There we go. And you have to drag the file there. It says drag and drop the image. So let's go to the image. I have it right here. And drag to the supporting files right there. So this is gonna say copy. Make sure you make this one copy, finish, and the image is there. Let's see, it's going there. Make sure it's copy right here. And the next part is going to be the image is right there. You can see the image right here. There we go. That's the image, okay? So once you have the image in Xcode, the next thing you wanna go in here in the tutorial, I have it on the .xib right here. If you go to this, you don't have the .xib because you are on Storyboard, which is right here. So those are like the two difference for the files. And if you open this and you make this minimize, you'll see the iPad right here. And in this case, you will see right here the iPad. But this is that .xib. This one is not using storyboard. And this one is using storyboard. So you can do it in both ways. So once you have that and you're in the same place, then Notice one difference right here and right here. You'll see that later. We go to the next right here. And once we do that, we have the same thing. Let's scroll image and we just place a UI image view. To do that, you get it from here. And you scroll this objects. You need to be in this area. If you're somewhere in here, you will see something different, okay? You need to be right here, objects. So just get this one, image view, and make this one the correct size. If it's small, it will not make it. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And then this one, let's go there, and it will just adjust to the correct size. Once you have those blue lines, look, center. You wanna center that? There you go. There they go. And then you're gonna go to this place right here, 
and you're gonna see the image. See these icons right here? Go to this one and image. Click in there and you'll see the image file right there. Click on the image and that's your image in the background. That's it. That's all you do. And this is all this PDF pretty much is what it's saying. Drag the USB, click on the image right here, click on that icon, it's showing you the icon right there. Find the image right there. You just click in the image and then you will see the image right there in the background. And that's it. Okay, I hope this will help you get an image into an iPhone or iPad. See you in the next tutorial.